Hello and welcome to Dr. Speak. Respiratory infections are all pervasive and are on the rise. I am Dr. Rashmi Kotian and today we are in conversation with the leading chest specialist Dr. Agam Vora. We are going to gain insights on the causes behind respiratory infections, the signs and symptoms and discuss treatment options. Hello sir. Hi there. Welcome to Dr. Speak and it is a pleasure to have you here with us today, Dr. Vora. Thank you very much. I am so happy to be here. Yeah. So to begin, I would like to understand from you, what are respiratory infections? Ah, your question is very good. What are respiratory infections? Respiratory infections are plenty. You have uh, viral respiratory infections, you have bacterial respiratory infection and the commonest respiratory infection mm -hmm. in our country of course is tuberculosis. Okay. So the germs could be any. Virus, bacteria, fungus mm. or tuberculosis. Mm. In fact, a lot of respiratory symptoms are due to non-infectious causes as well. If you have cough, it does not mean it is only infection. It could be allergy also. It could be underlying some major illness. It could be some drug reaction. It could be various things. So one did not think of only infection mm. when there is cough, shortness of breath or chest pain. Mm -hmm. So doctor, who is most likely to suffer from respiratory infection? Trust me. Anybody could get respiratory infection. Mm -hmm. And if you really look at it, probably every member in your family has suffered from respiratory mm -hmm. involvement one time or the other. Mm -hmm. Respiratory involvement would be right from nose. You have the cold, nasal okay. stuffiness, congestion, which you see probably two to three times a year with change of weather. Mm -hmm. The commonest cause behind it being influenza, the mm -hmm. viral infection. Then you have throat infection, the pharyngitis, tonsillitis. Mm -hmm. Tell me which child does not suffer from upper respiratory tract or the tonsillitis or the pharyngitis for that matter. Mm -hmm. And then you have uh, lower respiratory where we call it bronchitis mm -hmm. and the lung involvement like mm -hmm. pneumonia. Mm -hmm. You may have fluid in the chest. Mm -hmm. So there are various uh, infections which occur at a various level in the respiratory system. Mm -hmm. And respiratory system is vaguely divided into upper and lower respiratory mm -hmm. system. The upper system would begin from nose and mm -hmm. end with airways mm -hmm. where you have tonsils, pharynx, larynx, mm -hmm. etc. being part of it. Mm -hmm. And the lower respiratory involvement would be parenchymal or the lung involvement. Doctor, you just mentioned about tuberculosis. Can you please elaborate on tuberculosis? Tuberculosis is one of the major problem in our country. Why in our country? Globally. Mm -hmm. In fact, one third of the world's population is infected with tuberculosis and probably every two minutes, one patient would die of TB. Mm -hmm. By the time we finish our discussion, probably 10 or 20 patients would have died in our country because of tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. That big is a problem. Mm -hmm. Tuberculosis is caused by a single bug called mm -hmm. mycobacterium. This bug has got different family members and it could affect any system. Lung is the most common culprit. The most commonly involved organ in, in tuberculosis disease is lung. But you could have involvement of any organ. Mm -hmm. You can get TB of skin, abdomen, brain, eyes, uh, you know, urinary bladder, bones, bones. etc. Any, any yeah. system could be affected. And your presentation, symptoms could be based on the system involved. Most common being lung, you would have cough, chest pain, mm -hmm. breathlessness, blood in the sputum, that we call it as hemoptysis, mm -hmm. as presenting symptoms. Mm -hmm. Whenever you have weight loss happening because of any unidentifiable cause, mm -hmm. probably tuberculosis is one common disease that one should keep in mind. It was wonderful talking to you and I'm sure it will benefit all our viewers and thanks again for being part of this show. Thank you very much for asking me to be here. I thank you for those questions and I thank the Health Speak team for the excellent work. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video on respiratory infections. Subscribe to Speak Health on YouTube and Facebook. Stay tuned.